Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this 112 figure, and it is the Octopus Man. And uh, this is by a company called Pocket World. This is uh, PW2024B. So, there he is. There's the box. Alright, here we have Octopus Man, uh, aka Doc Ock from uh, No Way Home. Uh, from that Spider-Man film and uh, here are all the accessories that this figure comes with. Uh, it comes with um, eight tentacles, uh, four are uh, with the nanotechnology attached to it so they all look uh, a bit red. Uh, four of them are red and then four of them are regular colors. And then um, he also comes with uh, extra hands which are right here. It comes with a pair of fists and then a pair of open hands and then some gripping hands. And then the uh, pieces broke off uh, due to travel uh, all the way from China. And then uh, here's a little baggie with some of these little uh, buttons. Where I guess uh, if the outfit uh, lost buttons and you could uh, attempt to re-glue -glue them on there. So that's nice. Uh, they give you uh, extra bits. And then he also comes with a pair of glasses which it's already on him. Right there. And um, let's take a look at the figure itself. Uh, it comes with the base with the bendy wire attached to it. And then the base actually itself is weighted down with a piece of uh, metal underneath it. And here's a look at the bottom of the base. This piece here is weighted. Uh, I'm not sure if it's metal or just uh, some solid plastic or something, but it's, it is weighted. Uh, and then, uh, like I mentioned, bendy wire. Let me throw it onto the back so you guys can see the bendy wire and then it clamps uh, there's a, a waist clamp which is nice which uh, uh, moves some of these things away so you could clamp it around his waist which is nice and then uh, this piece right here is removable the front portion of it is removable I'm not sure why but uh, yeah and uh, let's take a look at the uh, well, let's start off with uh, um, a good look at the head sculpt, okay? Right. You know what? Let me take his glasses off so you guys can easily see his likeness a little bit. Alright, and here's the head sculpt. I think the likeness is uh, pretty good. It's not 100% uh, perfect. Uh, it's... it's pretty good uh, especially with glasses on I think he looks uh, way better and then uh, there are um, let's see you can see the pupils there and then uh, there are a little tiny bit of uh, uh, opening here for the glasses to to fit into so not a whole lot but uh, it uh, it is held on with uh, friction and then uh, the rest of him he comes with uh, two jackets one is the green one, the outer jacket, and then there's a more of a uh, fake leather material jacket uh, inside as well. And then underneath, there's a uh, black turtleneck. And then he's wearing a pair of brown pants and then shoes. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for a detailed look at him. And then let's take a look at the um, tentacles here so this one here uh, all the uh, little are uh, a lot of all the little joints are articulated the hinges and then uh, the tentacle itself is a, a bendy wire so uh, you can see uh, the reason why I'm using uh, a set of red instead of a uh, regular is because um, uh, a set of reds uh, it, it it won't it won't attach to the body anymore. I'll show you what I mean uh, in a second. But uh, here's the other set, and then uh, you can see one of the one of the finger. I guess called that uh, is red instead of uh, just silver because this piece broke. So I have to uh, take one of the red ones off and uh, give it to him. So that's annoying. And then one of the tip of the finger broke off as well, so yeah. Alright, so here's the one that I took off. Uh, I'll show you guys uh, the articulation of this. So you get hinge, one, 
two and then three right here and then here again this is a bendy wire it's pretty stiff so yeah there and then at the end here you can see there's a screw right there and then um, uh, on the back of the figure uh, which I'm not gonna remove anymore because uh, um, there, 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 there is a, a issue with the with the back of him. Um, there are hexagon uh, nuts uh, on the back of him, which I will show you a picture of right here beside this figure. And then uh, here you can see there are hexagon nuts there. Uh, two of them, the top two, are are only attached externally, uh, but the bottom two are enclosed. So I. I don't understand why they don't do uh, all four to be enclosed instead two to be exposed because uh, the two that are exposed um, one of them keep falling off because uh, they didn't apply enough glue uh, to the nut so uh, when I was uh, screwing these antennas on uh, screwing these tentacles on uh, one of them just uh, completely fell off so uh, the other issue I have is with the uh, with the with the thread here. Now, um, I don't know how they are attached to the uh, to the tentacle itself. Uh, it looks like there might be something that's glued down to the uh, to the screw here. But uh, for some reason, uh, once you try a few times, if you mess up, then uh, these things came loose and uh, it won't go into the thread anymore. Because uh, right now it's spinning on its own, so no matter how hard you screw it in this thing is just going to keep moving so it's not going to go in anymore uh it's, it's it, it all depends on how they attach this um this screw here these these threads onto the tentacle itself uh if they have welded uh, with a plate or something then uh, i think that would help but uh it, most likely they just um they just use friction or, or they just screw it into the, uh, the tentacle plastic and thinking that that will stay in, pe in place but uh, it did not so um, you can see this this one can actually move so there's no friction whatsoever to uh, keep it from moving if I'm screwing it in into the uh, on the back to the uh, on the back of the body no matter how hard I how many times I rotate it's not gonna go in anymore it's, there's just something that is missing in there either either the glue became undone or or something else I'm not sure uh, I think a better way to engineer this would would have been if they have uh, attached a plate or some sort onto the bottom of the screw and then just uh, when they're molding this this piece onto the uh, they probably didn't mold us uh, onto onto uh, over the wires or anything like that. I, I think they just uh, they just apply the wire in there afterwards or something. But uh, they would have to mold something uh, uh, along with this plastic uh, when they're when they're attaching the screw here onto it uh, in order to keep it from spinning. Because right now this one spins. And then I believe this one spins as well. So there's no way I could attach these two tentacles onto the back of the body anymore. Unless I do some sort of modification myself. These two are still okay. And you can see how much thread is out. It's only a little bit of it is out. While these two, you can see a whole section is out. Then the same with this one. Only a little bit is out, but... Uh, you can see you can't move it at the moment so when you're attaching it to the body make sure you don't screw it like over you don't over tighten it because uh, maybe that's what stripped the uh, the thread from the tentacle itself so yeah that's that's a bummer um, so basically two of these are no longer usable because of the threats unless I do some modification to it which eventually I might do but uh, I just need to find a better solution uh, instead of just using glue or something so we'll see and then uh, the other issue I have would be the um, the jackets that this figure comes uh, with uh, they put four holes four holes on the back of the, the two jackets but they are they're not 
wide enough to uh, to have these tentacles go through it so uh, it's quite a struggle to get these tentacles in there I got so frustrated that I started snipping off some of these uh, these uh, these holes here to make them much bigger and um, the tentacles are uh, they're so close to each other you can see there's literally no room for it to move right now uh, when you're screwing in, if you don't give leave it a little bit of a gap, it's going to be impossible for you to screw it in because you're rotating this uh, tentacle in there. And so, um, yeah, that was another issue I have. And then the fabric, uh, I had to cut it all the way apart. So now there's basically just two giant holes there. Uh, one on this side, one on the other. And I had to extend this port bottom portion of it too because uh, it wasn't lining up with the back of his... Uh, back of his uh, the, the, the the back holes on his back uh, the, the holes on his back is not lining up with the jacket so I had to cut the jacket a little further down just to compensate for those so that's another issue with this figure uh, so if you do get this figure uh, you might run into these these issues and uh, you're gonna have to do some modification yourself in order to uh, get the tentacles to uh, to attach properly onto this body and then uh, with the with the tentacle being so stiff uh, you really have to use some force in order to bend these wires um, so you are using a lot of force onto the end of this so like I said the top two are just regular nuts that's uh, that's on the outside so you might end up ripping those two nuts off and you're gonna have to reapply uh, reapply glue to uh, to the two top nuts and then the bottom ones uh, it'll be a little bit safer because they're in close but it's just when you when you're bending these wires just make sure you're holding the end of it before you start bending because you're not applying all your pressure onto this uh, onto this uh, onto the back of the back of the figure here because otherwise uh, you will you will definitely rip this thing apart and then you won't be able to get it on him so that's something uh, to be mindful about and then again show you these uh, fingers so they are nice though I mean uh, the way they are sculpted it's really nice and there's the red on these and then as far as the articulation for the figure itself uh, the head is attached with the neck is sculpted on one piece so the only articulation point is on the base of the neck and uh, there's not a whole lot of movement it's mainly just up and down a little bit and uh, not so much side to side I'm not sure why uh, so you can rotate it and that's about it and then as far as the arms is concerned full range really good uh, and uh, it, it does hold in place quite well so I'm happy about that even though with two layers of a uh, jacket uh, and then elbows most likely is double jointed and uh, it's stiff enough where or the fabric is soft enough where it could uh, hold its own uh, yeah so that's nice and then the wrists are actually on ball hinge joint so as far as the torso, <clears throat> chest, there is an articulation point, so he can come down a little bit and look up a little bit, arch back, forward and back, but not a whole lot, just a decent amount, just average. And then, let's see, as for the legs, let me do a lower this down here. Since this is uh, just a regular pair of pants, his leg does move up. Can almost no, cannot give you 90 degrees. Let me see. Let me remove it from the clamp here, and uh, let's see if I can get better range out of him. As far as the legs is concerned, okay. Uh, no, it's about that. Could go up to about that, and then the knee double jointed. And uh, pretty stiff, which is nice. And then the ankle is actually on a ball joint here, and it's pretty stiff too, so that's good. So yeah, most likely I'm gonna keep him on this base, which is uh, a metal clamp right here. 
around the waist. Yeah, I probably, yeah, most likely I would just leave them on here. Not really gonna touch them too much because of the tentacles and uh, how how uh, they are constructed. Uh, I don't trust it to put a lot of pressure onto uh, onto these tentacles uh, to bend them around or stuff like that. So again, yeah, most likely I'm just gonna have them standing. Uh, and well, clamped onto the space and uh, just dis display them this way. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Okay, let me see if I can. Yep, what's going on here? Okay, stiffen this out. Okay, tighten that screw a little bit more. So, yeah, oh, and then uh, I believe. Is there a bendy wire over this? Oh, let me see. Jacket. No, there's nothing. Oh, bottom, there's a little bendy wire on the, on the very bottom of the jacket. Uh, these trench coats. It's long coats. Yeah, there, there, oh, there's wire on the edge of this as well. Just not the outer coat. The outer coat only has the bottom. Alright, so as far as uh, height comparison, let's see here. Um, Toby Maguire is, I'm going, uh, uh, basing on the uh, bottom of the feet. Let's see, um, Toby Maguire is 5'8", and um, uh, Alfred, Alfred, mm, what's his last name, I forgot, uh, Molina, I think so, um, he is 6'2", so um, it's about, Correct, I think. Height wise, I think it's about correct. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I'm holding them. Uh, uh, I'm holding both of the uh, feet together so they're parallel to each other. Uh, they're. Yeah, they're. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, so he is a uh, half a head shorter. Uh, Spider Man is half a head shorter than uh, Doc Ock, so which I think is correct. So at the end of the day, is this figure worth getting? Um, he's gonna set you back about a hundred bucks, and uh, uh, let's see. Um, honestly, I think he is still worth it, uh, given the issues that this figure has uh, with the tentacles, uh, the back of the tentacles. Uh, you will need to um, either attach it once and never touch it. Or if you made a mistake, uh, just be careful not to over tighten um, those nuts or anything like that. And if they come loose, then uh, you might need to re glue them back on or something. But uh, if you have the issue that I'm having, then uh, you would need to do something about that in order to uh, get them to uh, get them back on. So honestly, I think it's still worth getting uh, because. I don't know whether we will get a Doc Ock from SHF, and uh, hopefully we will. Um, if we do, then the SHF one might be better. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but this one does have cloth outfits, so that is nice. I do like it. Uh, I do like that. Uh, the likeness is still okay, not too bad. Uh, so that's a that's something that I do, I'm happy with. The likeness of this one, uh, even though it's not perfect, of course. Um, but I, yeah, honestly, I, th I still think it's uh, worth getting. Um, but it's just a little more headache than I imagined this figure would be. But overall, it is a nice figure, and uh, I'm glad to have this, and uh, it will look great in the collection. Mm, not so much the back. You can see I completely shredded the, <laughs> the back of those two jackets. But uh, overall, yeah, I think still worth it. So there you have it. There's Doc Ock, uh, 112 scale Doc Ock from, uh, what is this company again? I'll have to look at the box again. It's a uh, pocket world. So there you go. Thanks for watching.